uh, where maybe the right and the left can come together. But it, 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 it's, it's a huge problem. I mean, you're at Rider University. We had, then we had the president of uh, Rutgers down in uh, Washington a couple weeks ago. And this was uh, one of the main things that was on his mind because there's so many students who are undocumented. They, they have a problem accessing college. They may get admitted, but then they, they, can't, they can't access um, you know, any kind of scholarships or help uh, to graduate. <coughs> And, and what are we doing? We're just we're going to have a, you know a, a generation of people that can't get a job or going to you know uh, not be able to sustain themselves because we don't have a way for them to have a pathway to citizenship. And and what the Democrats have said and what the president has said is that there has to be a pathway to citizenship. You know, it's not enough to just uh, uh, you know find some sort of temporary solution. It has to be a solution that makes it possible for people if they don't get in trouble with the law, if they pay their taxes, if they learn English, um, and they register, they may end up having to pay some sort of penalty, uh, but they become citizens. And it may take a number of years. I mean, the president talked 13 years, I think, and the reaction was, oh, that's too long. Well, I think it's too long. But again, let's forge ahead and have a debate. There are Democrats and Republicans working together on this issue. And so we can come up with a solution. It may not be exactly what we want, but as long as it's a pathway to citizenship that allows people, if they meet those criteria, even if it takes a while to get there, then that's going to make for a better America.